unveiling the world's most enigmatic place, Antarctica, where countless secrets lie in wait to be revealed. Join us as we explore the top 10 extraordinary discoveries that make Antarctica truly awe-inspiring. Number 10. Subglacial Lakes Researchers have discovered a massive 62-mile-long ribbon-shaped subglacial liquid lake in Antarctica that could be teeming with new species that has been hidden for millennia beneath the glacial cap. The lake that likely became isolated around 25 million years ago has led biologists to become enthusiastic about the possibility of ancient life forms still surviving within it. This lake is similar to Lake Vac that was discovered in the latter half of the 20th century. Stock samples have been shown to contain evidence of life. With signs of life been discovered at Lake Vac, there's an increased likelihood that ancient creatures may be hiding in the newly discovered lake. Another lake, Lake Willens, is the habitat of nearly 4,000 species of microbes. It's 2,625 feet beneath the ice in West Antarctica. These are the first organisms ever retrieved from a subglacial Antarctic lake. Number 9. Meteorite with Martian Life In 1996, David McKay, a NASA researcher, found what appeared to be traces of Martian life inside a meteorite recovered from Allen Hills in Antarctica. In 1984, the meteorite named ALH84001 broke off from the surface of Mars by the impact of an asteroid. It floated through space for 16 million years before it landed in Antarctica 13,000 years ago. The ALH84001 contained a combination of minerals and carbon compounds that are created by microbes on Earth. There were also chains of worm-like globules on the meteorite that matched closely to chains formed by certain bacteria on Earth. However, some scientists remain skeptical, arguing that the meteorite could have contaminated, while others point out that the structures could be formed by chemical and not biological processes. Overall, there's been a lot of contention in the scientific community regarding the authenticity of the findings. We'll likely not know the truth until we reach more planets like Mars. Number 8. Unfreezing Super Salty Pond There's a pond in Antarctica that is so salty that it doesn't freeze, even with a temperature of minus 50 degrees Celsius. It's made of 95% pure calcium chloride that's far purer than salt found in other places in nature. The pond called the Don Juan Pond, which has an unusually heavy and pure load of salt, has been a geochemical mystery since it was discovered during a 1961 expedition. The source that feeds the pond is also a mystery to scientists. Some studies say it is fed by deep groundwater, while others suggest the salt comes from a shallower source. The pond and surrounding area is very Mars-like and could help scientists understand similar features. On the Martian home planet, the pond is about 40% salt by weight, this high salt concentration is due to the high evaporation rate in the extremely dry environment of the pond and the ability of calcium chloride to form much more concentrated solutions than sodium chloride, which is table salt. Number 7. Dinosaurs In the mid-1980s and early 1990s, scientists discovered multiple sets of fossilized remains of the magnificent reptiles who once ruled the planet. These discoveries show that dinosaurs have lived on the continent as far back as 200 million years ago and as recently as 75 to 80 million years ago. Alongside the bones of dinosaurs, scientists discovered the remains of various other ancient animals. One such animal from the past is a kai, kai phi, lu herb, which is a moor. It lived 66 million years ago and is one of the largest ancient animals discovered in Antarctica. It had a height of a five-story office building. It traveled the ancient seas using its paddle like limbs and long tail and likely was a great predator. Number six, ancient forest. Strange forest with some features of today's tropical trees have been discovered to have once grown in Antarctica. During the late Permian and early Triassic period, 250 million years ago, the world was a greenhouse. This allowed forests to blanket Antarctica since it wasn't covered by ice then, however, Antarctica was still at a high latitude, 
which meant the land was consumed by darkness 24-7 in the winter, and the sun shone without rest in the summer. Scientists are not sure how plants coped with constantly photosynthesizing in the summer and then not doing so during winter. Now that we're halfway through, take a look at these striped icebergs. They're icebergs that have strips of color running across their surfaces. They're found on icebergs all over the world, but do you know how they're formed? Number 5. Penguin Poop Stains Scientists have been able to track the migration pattern of emperor penguins in Antarctica using satellite imagery thanks to their poop stains. Believe it or not, they reveal information on how penguins migrate given climate change, as the level of ice changes in the Antarctic ice cap. Penguins like to return to the same place to breathe. However, the rising temperature in the Antarctic is forcing them to seek new breeding grounds. Scientists notice that the penguins might be adapting to their changing environment. When a new colony was found, about 120 miles south of a breeding ground was abandoned when the ice disappeared. New satellite imagery technology makes it easier for researchers to track the penguins because of their very visible poop stains on the Antarctic ice and snow. When the ocean temperature around Antarctica climbed in the 1970s, the colony size reduced by half. This led researchers to believe that rising temperatures had killed off the penguins, but their poop has provided evidence that they have just moved to a new colony. Number 4. Ice Melt Crater A mysterious two-mile crater found in the Wabudua ice shelf in East Antarctica that was thought to be made by a meteorite has been found to be likely formed by a leaky meltwater lake. This feature is a sinkhole-type pit that comes about when a meltwater lake suddenly drains from its bottom. Ologists who inspected the release picture of the crater concluded that it resembles an is line if the is dole hypothesis is correct. Researchers would be delighted as they'd like to find out exactly how meltwater lakes are formed. Number 3. Blood Falls Blood Falls is a liquid outflow at the snout of Taylor Glacier in East Antarctica. Rising from an ancient hypersaline lake trapped beneath Taylor Glacier's 400 meters of ice. About 5 million years ago, the ocean flooded East Antarctica, creating a salty inland lake. Around 3 million years later, glaciers formed over the state line lake, trapping a basin of pristine salt water that has been isolated for nearly 2 million years. As water on the surface of the subglacial lake froze, the liquid below became even saltier. As liquid kept being removed from the lake, the lake salt became increasingly concentrated in the remaining water. Currently, the water is about three times as salty as the ocean, and it won't freeze even below zero degrees Celsius. Blood Falls' sourced lake is not actually red, but rather the iron-rich water becomes red as it interacts with the oxygen-rich surface environment. At the falls, the red particles form as a result of a chemical reaction between iron and oxygen. The high concentration of salt increases the rate of this reaction, making the water at Blood Falls appear bright red. Blood Falls is a landform of interest to scientists because of its unusual microbe community and could make us better understand the possibility of life outside Earth in such places as Jupiter's moon Europa. Number 2. Giant Sea Spider Sea spiders can be found all over the world. However, the ones found in the Antarctic Sea are far bigger than your everyday sea spiders. They can grow to a legion of nearly 25 centimeters. The spiders are pycnoboids, which are primitive marine arthropods. Their large size is due to a phenomenon known as polar gigantism. Polar gigantism affects not only sea spiders, it also affects species such as copods, echinoderms, and some types of mollusks found in the poles. Several hypotheses have been put forward to explain polar gigantism. Some scientists claim that a large body size may have developed as an evolutionary trait to enable animals to withstand long periods of starvation during the winter. It has also been suggested that the high availability of oxygen matched with the low temperatures slows animals' metabolism down and reduce their need for oxygen and thus producing gigantism research is still a foot to better understand these giant creatures. But if you're an arachnophobe, do not venture to the Antarctica Sea. Number 1. Eulogisca gigantine 
The Eulogisca gigantine is an 8-inch marine worm that lives in the waters near Antarctica. It has an oval body ringed with shiny golden bristles and taut with a sharp tooth maw. It's frequently found in the Southern Ocean waters near Antarctica. It belongs to a class of marine worms called polychaetes. Little is known about the habits and biology of this peculiar worm, which was first discovered in 1939. The worm's head is actually a retractable pharynx that is housed within its body. When the animal feeds this section of its throat, extends outward to a length of about two inches, the sharpness of its teeth suggests that it preys on other animals or scavenges their remains. It was found in the Antarctic Ocean at the depth of 520 to 670 meters. The worm likely plays a vital role in the ocean ecosystems. They may help scientists to better understand life in the deep ocean. Now back to the question, the formation of the strip icebergs depends on the color of the strips. Blue stripes are formed when a crevice in the air sheet fills up with meltwater and freezes so quickly that no bubbles form. The wavelength of blue light causes it to be scattered or spread around much more than the other colors. Green strips can be made by the presence of algae while other colors, such as brown, black, and yellow, are caused by sediment picked up when the ice sheet grinds downhill towards the sea. Did you have the correct answer then congratulations? Your brain is powerful. Do you know of any other extraordinary discoveries made in Antarctica? And do you wish to visit Antarctica one day? Let me know in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching.